Hi, my name is Norman and uh, today I'm going to show you the long tail cast on. This is my favorite cast on technique because it creates a very, very neat edge and it's fairly easy to do. So let's show you how it's done. So let's show you how the long tail cast on is done. First, you need to set aside a little tail because we're gonna knit these stitches, we're gonna cast on these stitches from the tail. Be generous about this tail, you can always um, cut any excess later on. There's a rule of thumb that says, okay, uh, set aside three to four times um, as much yarn as your final work will be wide. So if you're knitting a scarf of say 10 inches, then um, set aside 40 inches. You, the working yarn and the ball should be on your left and the tail on your right. Now, wrap the yarn around your pinky finger clockwise twice, once, twice. You can wrap it around three times as well. This will create more tension. And if you just uh, wrap it around once, it will create less tension. Um, find out what works for you. For me, it's two times. Uh, from here, you have to bring the yarn across the back of your hand like this and wrap it around your thumb once clockwise like this. And now you have to secure the yarn between your ring and your pinky finger like this. And it should look like this. And what we did is we created a nice little loop here around your thumb and we're going to use this loop to cast on our stitches. So, grab the needles. I always do this cast on with two needles because I feel it creates a much stretchier cast on that is much easier to knit. But I know that a lot of knitters do it with one needle only. So, um, try out both and uh, find out which um, version works for you. For me, it's always with two needles. The technique is always the same and it goes like this. Insert the needle into the loop around your thumb from below like this. And then grab the yarn around from above and pull it through, let loose of the loop and tighten up. And this is your first stitch. Now, from here, it's basically repeating this same motion over and over again. Pull the needles towards you to create another loop here. Then insert the needles into the loop around your thumb from below. Grab the yarn towards your index finger from above. Pull it through. Let loose of the loop. Tighten up. Second stitch. Again. Pull the needles towards you. Insert the needles into the loop around your thumb from below. Grab the yarn from above. Pull it through, let loose of the loop, tighten up. Three stitches. So as you can see, um, there's really no magic about it. And I feel this is a very, very fast cast on technique. And it might seem a bit complicated at first, wrapping the yarn this way and that way, but I feel it's um, totally worth it because um, this cast on edge looks really neat um, in the end and it's really, really easy to knit. So once you have the desired amount of stitches on your needle, you have to secure the yarn and pull out the second needle like this. And there is your cast on edge. As you can see, this created very loose loops and it's easy to insert the needles. And this is the reason why I recommend doing it with two needles for beginners because, well, it's that much easier, but again, try it out. So that's all the magic there is to the long tail cast on. Try it out. 
comment this video and tell me how it went. Uh, make sure to subscribe my channel and of course uh, like this video. Give me a thumbs up if um, you enjoyed it and stay tuned for the next video.